Hey, this is Ari, and in this video, I want to share with you a little clip from my much longer presentation all about the science around saunas. This was a presentation I did that I forget exactly how long it was. The full length version is 45 minutes or an hour or something like that. And uh, it's packed with content. But of course, modern world, people have short attention spans. So I wanted to break things down into little valuable chunks and go over some of the key elements of that presentation. And this is one of the clips that I want to share with you. Um, saunas are incredibly powerful in terms of their ability to, as, as a hormetic stressor, in terms of their ability to stimulate adaptations in our body that ultimately confer uh, mitochondrial growth, mitochondrial biogenesis, neuroprotective effects, um, antidepressive effects, increased athletic performance, uh, and much, much more. Um, disease prevention, reductions in cardiovascular disease, neurological disease, all cause mortality. Saunas are an absolutely wonderful tool and are extremely effective also for helping you to increase your energy levels. I highly recommend them. And in this clip, you're going to find out a bit of the reason why I'm such a huge fan of saunas. So enjoy. And if you want to listen to the full length presentation, I also have an article associated with that. The links for that are down in the description below. Enjoy. Slowed aging and increased longevity. So this one is a recent study just came out a few years ago. And they looked at the association between sauna bathing and cardiovascular events, fatal cardiovascular events, and all cause mortality. That's dying from any cause. And they just looked to see if there was any association between how much somebody was using a sauna versus how likely they were to die from heart disease or from any, anything. So here's what they found. Pretty incredible finding. They found that those using the sauna two to three times per week, as opposed to just one time per week, were a whopping 24% less likely to die from all causes. But beyond that, the effects continue to increase the more that you use the sauna. So those using the sauna four to seven times per week, as opposed to one time per week, were 40% less likely to die from all causes. 40%, four zero. Now, I'll point out a couple things here. One is that the comparison here is using the sauna multiple times a week compared to one time per week rather than using it zero times per week. So if they compared it to people using it zero times per week, the effect sizes would be even greater. Now, secondly, I wanna emphasize this number. People using the sauna four to seven times per week were 40% less likely to die during this period. Now, I just want to point out, again, going back to what I said at the beginning of this presentation, if there were a drug, a pharmaceutical drug, that had a study like this, that had a study showing if you take this drug four to seven times per week, you will be 40%, you will reduce your risk of dying in a particular period of time, in the next five years, if you're towards the end of your life, um, by 40%. If, if a study like that existed for a pharmaceutical drug, that would be a blockbuster drug. People would be going nuts for this drug, saying it's the most incredible drug and it's a miracle drug, yada, 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 being everybody would be taking this drug. Okay, so I just want to point out the effect size here is massive. So in terms of the specific mechanisms, a lot of this is being driven by heat, what are called heat shock proteins, which are uh, specific mechanisms in our cells, these, these certain proteins that get expressed and pathways that get expressed that are, um, they're called heat shock proteins because they're associated with heat stress. Uh, exercise actually stimulates a number of heat shock proteins as well, even though it's not technically heat. That's kind of, in some cases, heat your body up and cause you to sweat. But um, sauna use stimulates many heat shock proteins in a particularly profound way. And many of these heat shock proteins have been linked to longevity um, and, and people with increased expression of certain heat shock proteins actually live longer. So we know there's an association here with longevity. Um, we also know that worms exposed to heat stress experience both greater longevity and pr pr protection from frailty in a dose-dependent relationship. That means the more they get exposed to heat stress, um, the more protection they get. 
As little as one exposure to heat stress in flies and worms can result in up to a 15% increase in lifespan. Uh, this has been linked to the effect on heat shock proteins. Now, obviously, by itself, experiments in worms and flies are not very meaningful to humans, right? We're, we're pretty different. But these types of layers of evidence become a lot more meaningful when now you look at the human studies and you look at the kind of study that I just showed you looking at how sauna affects cardiovascular disease and all cause mortality and resistance to all kinds of other diseases. And now you start to, to assess um, all these layers of evidence all pointing in a particular direction. And we do know that humans also have heat shock proteins. And we do know that there's all these dozens of studies showing sauna use is linked to protection from various diseases. Now we can start to go, well, probably at least many of these me same mechanisms are likely active in humans as well. Heat stress also activates a particular gene called FOXO3, which has been called the longevity gene since polymorphisms in this gene are associated with the ability to attain exceptional old age. So uh, FOXO3 affects the expression of a number of other genes, such as those involved in DNA repair and cell death. Um, and cell death in a good way, like meaning cells die when they should die if they've been damaged or cancerous and things like that. Also immune function, stress resistance, autophagy, um, which is sort of cellular cleanup of damaged cell parts, tumor suppression, and the activation of stem cells. So all of these factors, all of these mechanisms that we know are involved in heat stress and sauna use, combined with the fact that we have actual data linking sauna use with increased longevity, and as you'll see in the rest of this presentation, resistance to many diseases, uh, makes it quite clear that sauna use can, in fact, extend your longevity. And maybe one of the most potent tools, most potent medicines for extending longevity that exists. Hey, this is Ari. I hope you enjoyed this video. And one more thing before you go, actually two more things. One is if you enjoyed this particular little clip, uh, the link to the full length podcast is in the description down below. So make sure to check that out. Also, one more thing. Let me ask you a question. What if I could show you how to double your energy levels and dramatically improve your brain function, reducing your anxiety and depression to a degree on par with antidepressant drugs, but without the side effects. Sound pretty interesting? Well, there are in fact numerous compounds that can do this, that have been shown to do this. And I'll, I'll take you through just a few of these very briefly. One of them is rhodiola rosea. And this has been shown in studies, uh, rhodiola rosea extract, in people with stress-related fatigue and exhaustion to cut their levels of fatigue and brain fog in half in less than a month. Just this one compound. There's another compound uh, in my formula Energenesis called NT factor phospholipids that's been shown to help repair mitochondrial membranes and mitochondrial health to the level of healthy 29-year-olds taking people with deteriorated mitochondria who are over the age of 65, restoring it to the level of healthy 29 year olds. Um, and that has been shown in numerous studies in various types of chronic fatigue, aging associated chronic fatigue, obesity related chronic fatigue, chronic fatigue syndrome to increase energy levels by 30 to 45% in the span of four to 12 weeks, depending on the specific study. So dramatic improvements in a very, very short period of time. Uh, two more compounds that are amazing, I highly recommend, that are in my formula Ultra Brain, along with Rhodiola rosea. Saffron extract. This has been shown to increase levels of, um, improve your mood, I should say, and decrease levels of depression on par with fluoxetine, which is Prozac. And uh, not only that, but with fewer side effects. It's much safer and much less likely to cause negative effects than antidepressant drugs are. Acetyl L-carnitine is another compound that's been shown to dramatically improve brain health in older adults. It also improve energy levels in older adults with chronic fatigue by between 40 to 50% in just the span of two to, th to four months. And 
Uh, the last thing I'll mention here is acetyl L-carnitine has also been compared to antidepressant drugs and been shown, like saffron, to be as effective as antidepressant drugs in combating depression, but without the harmful side effects that so often occur with the drugs. So this is just a small uh, sampling of the over 35 compounds that are in my formulas, Energenesis and UltraBrain, that are all proven to dramatically improve energy levels, mitochondrial health and brain health and much, much more. Uh, and I highly recommend that you go check these out. If you're struggling with depression or anxiety or brain fog, if you're struggling with stress-related ex exhaustion and burnout, if you're struggling with chronic fatigue, go check out these formulas, give them a shot. I promise you are gonna be blown away by the results. And like I said, the science has already proven that these things work. So you don't have to just take my word for it. Uh, there's lots of research to support that. And I'll even link to some of that research down below so you can verify everything that I just said for yourself. So the links to those studies will be in the description for this video uh, down below. So check them out. Uh, check out the formulas on the energyblueprint.com. Again, uh, Energenesis is the mitochondrial formula and Ultra Brain is our brain formula. Check them out, try them out, and I think you're going to be blown away by the results. Thanks so much, and I'll talk to you again soon.